Hurricane Ian was a devastating category for hurricane that heavily impacted Cuba, Florida, and the Carolinas. On September 19, the NHC began tracking a tropical wave to the east of the Windward Islands for possible gradual development. On September 22, it showed signs of increasing organization, though strong wind shear generated by the outflow from Hurricane Fiona was inhibiting development. It was designated Tropical Depression 9 early on September 23. The organization of the depression improved slowly over that day and became a tropical storm at 3 o'clock UTC on September 24. As the storm entered the Central Caribbean it encountered conditions favorable for intensification, warm 86 degrees sea surface temperatures and humidity of 70 percent. At 8.30 UTC on September 27, Ian made landfall near La Coloma, Cuba. At 19.05 UTC, Ian made landfall at Cayo Costa Island with winds of 150 miles per hour. On September 29th, at 15 UTC, Ian moved offshore into the Atlantic. The system turned northward on the morning of September 30th. At 1805 UTC that same day, Ian made its third landfall near Georgetown, South Carolina, with sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. While in the early stages of developing, the system brought gusty winds and heavy rain to Trinidad and Tobago, the ABC Islands, and to the northern coast of South America. Ian killed three people in western Cuba and caused extensive damage to homes, factories, roads and tobacco farms throughout the region. Power was knocked out in three provinces, but later the nation's entire electrical grid collapsed. As of October 3, more than 100 people have died in Florida as a result of the storm. Numerous tornadoes touched down in South Florida on September 27. Ian inflicted catastrophic damage in southwest Florida, washing out roads and bridges, toppling trees, and destroying homes and businesses. Hardest hit was Lee County, where damage from the hurricane's 145-mile-per-hour winds was exacerbated by a storm surge which peaked at 7.25 feet at Fort Myers. Orlando recorded a record-breaking 24-hour rainfall total of 12.49 inches, near New Smyrna Beach reported 28.60 inches of rain in 27 hours. In South Carolina, Ian caused far less property damage, and there were no reports of casualties from the storm there. Ian's remnants also contributed to coastal flooding along the mid-Atlantic coast. Category 4 Hurricane Ian had a minimum pressure of 937 millibars and maximum winds of 155 miles per hour. The storm's accumulated cyclone energy is approximately 18.6 units. Voice over text comes from the Wikipedia page for the 2022 hurricane season and from this storm's individual page. Voice over generated by an AI voice program.